Hello, YouTubers. I'm going to pull a fast one on you because it looks like uh, there's going to be more parts to this uh, than I originally said in part one. I said there was going to be five parts, but there's going to be, uh, looks like six parts because I didn't say all I wanted to say in part one. So let's call this part 1.5. I know I'm being an asshat for doing that, but what the hell? It's my video. So, what I wanted to talk about in part one, but didn't get to, is more of the uh, history of Windows Mobile, etc. Because uh, there's a lot of talk out there about the Android operating system, which I love because I had that on my G1. I still have the G1, but I'm not using that phone the Android operating system and then there's the iPhone's operating system. There's all these operating systems out there including Palm. So uh, the, the, the question is where is Microsoft going with Windows Mobile because it's an extremely outdated operating system. Well Microsoft is getting away from the Windows Mobile Pocket PC Windows CE uh, uh, operating system and feel from the old days. So uh, the, the big concern uh, for Microsoft is that it's losing market share of the mobile phone market. Microsoft is smart enough to know, of course everybody knows this, that the smartphones uh, are where the next big uh, development is going to be because everybody's going to have a smartphone. A definition of a smartphone is somewhat uh, uh, vague. There is no precise or exact definition. But basically a smartphone is assumed to include uh, various applications for running multimedia, accessing the internet with your data plan, and running uh, various applications much as your desktop computer would run. Uh, it has uh, expandable uh, storage, otherwise known as a micro SD chip, and the capability of the phone is such that it has uh, a, a, a strong processing power. Not like the old days. Remember the old days if your phone came with contacts, uh, the ability to keep contacts, a calendaring system, etc., that was considered, hey, that's a real smartphone. No, that's a dumb phone nowadays. That's like basic. Any the, uh, a, a, a free phone from T-Mobile does that kind of stuff. So smartphones are getting more and more sophisticated, obviously. Uh, for example, this phone here, I don't know what the capacity of the micro SD chip is, but uh, it does run, it will run 16 gigabyte micro SD chips. That's gigabyte. Imagine that, that this phone, this small little package, can have a 16 gigabyte micro SD chip in it. I mean, that's phenomenal. The uh, processing power is significant on smartphones, and the ability to multitask, run video, be on a net, etc., get, get, these phones are, are better able to do that nowadays compared to before. In the past, if you tried to multitask, the phones would crash. They're still not there yet, but on, on, on error-free multitasking, but those days are, are coming. So Microsoft's concern is that with the huge success of the Android system, operating system, and with iPhone and their system and Palm, that Microsoft is getting left in the dust. I believe their market share, if you can imagine this, uh, while they dominate the personal computing operating system, the, the reverse is true for smartphones. Microsoft's market share for its Windows Mobile system is about 10 percent, 10, 11 percent of the market. That's really low. So Microsoft is playing catch-up at this time and they've been developing operating systems for debut this year 
and next year and probably sometime after that. So this phone here comes with 6.1, which everybody admits is just an outdated operating system. 6.5 is debuting in Octo on October 1 of this year. 6.5 adds a few more layers of uh, touch capability on this phone and other phones that will run 6.5. But it's more of an interim operating system until the new uh, uh, feature-rich uh, touchscreen type operating systems come out next year. Now, everybody was saying, well, that's going to be Windows Mobile 7. And then Microsoft announced recently that, no, what we're going to do is come out with dual platforms for the smartphones. One will be for the, the this Windows 6.1 line of, of products, and the other is going to be something to compete with the iPhone, etc. In other words, uh, if you want to look at it as a, a business professional device and smartphone operating system versus something like the iPhone, multimedia, something like Android, etc., the, the, you can look at break them down like that, but the important point is is that Microsoft's not going to be abandoning uh, people that buy this phone, especially considering the price. So we would hope that they wouldn't abandon uh, uh, the first adopters of this particular phone here, the Touch Pro 2. The other point I want to make is that this is a professional device, and like I said in part one, you don't compare this with the iPhone. It's two entirely different phones. You can tell that this is a professional device, meaning for business and for for uh, doctors, lawyers, etc., simply because it has uh, the speakerphone feature, the straight talk feature, which I'll talk about later. It comes loaded with Adobe Adobe PDF Reader, and it interfaces with uh, Microsoft Office, and also it comes with mini apps for the phones, mobile applications, whatever you want to call them. On this phone comes uh, Word, uh, Excel Viewer, uh, and, and a few other uh, Microsoft uh, Office applications. So it's a professional device. It's actually priced professionally. It's a very expensive phone, uh, and I'll go over pricing in part three. The uh, or we're going to call it part two because this is 1.5. Let's let's abandon that thought. So uh, Microsoft is tanking on its mobile operating system, mobile phone, smartphone operating system, whatever you want to call it. But they're trying to get back, and this device is designed, no matter who you buy it from, whether it be uh, Sprint, Verizon, AT&T, or T-Mobile, or any of the foreign markets, they all have Windows Mobile 6.1. But that will be changing soon. The uh, other aspects of this being a professional device is it has a sliding keyboard. The business community, at least most that I have read or seen or talked to or whatever, say they don't like touch screen uh, keypads because you can't type with those. It's too difficult. I, I feel that way. I will never buy a phone with a touch screen only keypad. So this to cater to the market, HTC, Microsoft, and uh, T-Mobile, for for now, all came out and said, oh, "Yeah, we want this particular phone for the professional market. People that want a keyboard." So uh, we'll talk about that further. But I wanted to get that out of the way about uh, Microsoft, uh, uh, the the 6.1, and what's going on there. Uh, you know, just as a teaser, here's the here's the uh, slider. There you saw the. Isn't that exciting to see the sliding of the phone? So anyway, all right, that's it for part two, and hope you come back for part three.